Hello everyone and welcome to the PS Plus free play. I am looking at the games that are free for PlayStation Plus subscribers for the month of June 2018. Now the game that I'm looking at today is the main game for this month and it is a big one. It is a very, very big game. It is relatively a recent game. And it is XCOM 2. And this is a big deal for me, getting this kind of a game. But for those who haven't played it before, it is a turn-based strategy game. That is a reboot of a series from the 90s called UFO. amazing games the difficulty level is definitely higher up than normal and being XCOM 2 this is a sequel to the XCOM 1 so if you haven't played that then there are some story elements that you won't know But essentially, when this game begins, XCOM is a team of underground rebels who are trying to liberate the planet from the aliens that have taken it over. Now, the same with most of these type of games. There are obviously tutorials to explain how the game works, how you could play it, etc. But being a turn-based strategy, you do have the time to position your team, choose the right actions for them to do, get them all ready, and then when the aliens move, there is a good possibility that all your men are going to miss and half of them are going to die because that tends to be how this game works um, like I said it's a great game um, I've been playing this since the original UFO Enemy Unknown so you know I'm really excited for this and I'm definitely going to be playing this a lot if you, if you people want to see how the game is played and how it runs and how it works I am going to play the tutorial mission and look at the basic base building next probably about 20-25 minutes of gameplay then keep watching and you'll see that you'll see how it runs, how it plays, how it works for those who just want to see which games are available this month, there's not a lot, it's a shame, but there is another game available, so please look at my videos to find out what that is, and I'll see you guys next time. Here we go, XCOM 2, this is a big deal people. This is a big game for them to offer on the PS Plus. And it's a hell of a fun game as well. Now, I have played XCOM 1 and I have played a very, very small amount of XCOM 2. And by small amount, I literally think I've only played the first mission. So, we are going to get into this and I'm going to show you probably the training mission as well. And I will leave the whole of the intro in so you get to see kind of the backstory a bit. And you get to see what's happened. Yeah, here we go. So this, for those that have never seen or played XCOM, this is a 
reboot series from the game's UFO from the 90s. Always autosave. Um, they're known for being difficult, even on this level. Um, now I'm going to stick on veteran, otherwise I'll just keep losing too many men. I'll leave the tutorial on for you to see. And I'll just, we want subtitles. And I'll be quiet. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. In keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Yeah, thank you. The advent of Minnesota reminds you to report all suspicious activity for liberating us. Can you hear the air quotes? Can you hear the air quotes? Approaching position. You were right. Definitely got their hands full today. Doesn't look suspicious at all. Prep gate pressure. Sixty seconds. Boom. Signal received. Loud and clear. Okay, gate crasher. Your turn. All right, let's get into this. So, it's a turn based strategy. You move all your guys, and then they move all their guys and kill half of yours. Tends to be how it works. Stick all your guys, you can stick them all on Overwatch. And they'll just miss anyway. I've played it before, I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, let's have a look. Alright, so we've got to grab some cover. Alright, so this over here is called half cover. It means they will still hit you. I'm telling you in XCOM speak. Because it's very different to other turn based. Half cover means they're probably still going to hit you. Full cover? You're, you're pretty much safe from the front as long as you shoot from the front you're fine now obviously the blue and the yellow areas if you stay in the blue you can do something else i.e. you can shoot or you can use a weapon or, or an item if you push through to the yellow in movement terms then you can't do anything else in your turn Okay, now technically we have an advantage because they don't know we're here. 
we need to stay incognitus, which they're telling us now. If we get spotted, I walk into those obvious squares at the top of the screen, we'll lose our concealment bonus. Now, yeah, concealments are great ways to ambush. You can basically set up all your guys on the boulders of this red area, set them all on overwatch, and then the moment your one first guy attacks, the enemy will scatter, and as they run, your guys will shoot blindly at them and miss them almost every time. Don't mind us, we're just running. You can't see us even though we're clearly running in plain sight with weapons. I'm gonna guess he's the commander. We're not out of the woods yet. We need to take out those remaining soldiers. I've got the trap on her. Permission to engage. Do it. Okay, now this is obviously a tutorial, so I have to do what they're telling me to. What would make sense here would be chuck a grenade. They're all standing in, in a nice little bunch. Okay, so. <coughs> so you can change between people there. Um, I suppose let's shoot the closest one. We don't want to go into Overwatch. Pick a boo. See again, what we should have done is put her in Overwatch. Because now he's shot someone, they will all scatter. And if she was in Overwatch, she would have shot at them. There you go. I mean, it's, it, it just told us that anyway, but it's telling us again. Right, okay. We're moving on up. I appreciate the bravery, but you're dangerously close right now. Be careful. Okay. So this one's only 30. This one is 60. So you see, technically, even though they're in full cover, there is still a 30% chance that we could have shot them. So full cover doesn't guarantee that you can't get hit. <gasps> no, my favorite plant pot. You bitch. No, I'm getting you for that. Oh, they're going to kill her. Oh, they killed her. Okay. I'm more angry about the plant pot, god damn it. You can't take risks like that. Watch your flanks. So that's how you want to And there's not even anything I could do about that. Because you told me to move her there. She was and then had a go at her for being too close. Nice Alright, well flanking negates. You see now his little shield has gone yellow. What that means is Because we've come to the side. His cover is pointless. And we're going to kill him. That's for shooting our plant pot. Oh, and I mean killing the partner, I suppose. They're closing in on, me. Awesome. They're closing in on you. No, they're not. If anything, they're getting further away from you. Okay. So you, you couldn't have just shot them in the head the moment they hit the floor. You would think that would have made more sense. Who's that? I thought she died. Human hybrid soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. 
Oh no, I don't think the I don't think the woman we had just now had a hat on. Must be someone else. It's probably more than one woman left, I suppose. Let's move. See? Should have just shot him in the head like I told you. Moron. All right, let's go over here. Because you're telling me to. Guy. Keep your eyes peeled. Fire on anything that moves. I'm not even sure what I'm doing. What am I doing here? I'm going in the building, I suppose. Is clear. We need to move on the package. Menace three, you're up. Action jump for a window was very nice. Okay, so if we just stand, if we finish our first move in that square, then we get whatever he dropped. Oh, nice scope. Lovely. Okay, and she's going in there as well. Alright, then we're coming in. I mean, a massive group of soldiers ran down the road just as we started attacking. Could they just not come back? Or are we supposed to believe that these two people that turned up? Yeah, well done. That was a scripted Overwatch. Don't expect that to happen on normal missions. Oh, okay, so this guy's going to die as well now, is he? And then shoot. Who are we shooting? Really? We're shooting the officer? Can I not shoot him? No, won't let me shoot him. Alright, let's shoot the officer then. Oh wow, I missed. I didn't shoot him behind a pillar and a car. I'm going for the door. Okay. We're going to have to hack the door, are we? You should be able to cut right through the door's security protocols. They were never expecting anyone to get this close. Okay, all, all soldiers can hack certain PCs, lock doors and other objects. Blah de blue de blah, okay. So, we're gonna hack. Just hold it wildly in the air. Alright, uh, it's one of those things. I've never fully understood what any of this means. Unlocking chance 100%, so we're guaranteed to unlock it. If we get a 2% chance of getting the override or a 6% chance of getting the signals. Soldier immediately gains concealment. Well, I love that one. Didn't get it. Okay, but we got the door. Good. Let's go. It's weird. I've always found that slightly strange.
Alright, so we've got to pick him up. Alright, so it looks like we're going out the back. Come on then, let's do this. Oh! Yeah, grenades are good. Grenades are a good way, this is my little advice. At the very beginning of every mission, what I try to do is I'll set up all the guys around the concealment border. Get them all on Overwatch, and then I will wait for a group of people, of enemies, to be close together, and then I'll throw a grenade in, because that way I will generally hit and kill more than one person at a time. Plus as they scatter, all my guys have got Overwatch on and they'll all just start to attack. That tends to be what I try to do. Firebrand, this is Gatecrasher. We need an immediate evac. Get us out of here. Yep, we want this one, please. Can you come and get us? Someone on the roof. Okay, so let's move you in here. Yep. Now let's get the hell out of here. Come on, woman. Did not look happy. I've managed to identify the connection, preparing to make final incision. 
These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it. Response normal, vital stabilizing, the seizure complete. Told him it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still. Can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but... A lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back. And there we go. It's been 20 years since the last Commander, game. The research labs. And they've rescued us. So you see, you can go to research, or if you go to the command center, then you have everything that's happened recently. So if you want to have a read through the historical records, they'll tell you what's happening you see you've got a selection there and as you progress through the game they will expand as well as as you do research they will expand as well impressive isn't it capable of generating immense power yet completely harmless to human life if only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens technology commander Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of That's all how research our basically research. works. A farewell. You sir. can hire new people or you can add new funding. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching so the advent. We can do molecular weapons and hybrid materials, but to start with, we need to find out about this. It'll take a day. Immediately, Commander. So that means when we get back from the first mission, we'll probably find out what that thing is. And here is the here is the base. This is it. Now, in the original games, you were normally able to actually build these from scratch. A lot of the more recent games, they're already pre-built mostly for you. So you've got all the different possible areas here. But we need to go to the armory. 
Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough yeah, experience give her a promotion. for a promotion. We should take care of that now. The well done, Jim. What's she gonna get? Ooh, she got a sword. Unit, capable of moving independently and concealing Lovely. while engaging enemies at close range. Yeah, so she now has the slash. Attack an enemy within movement range with your sword. Lovely. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. And then you see you can either go towards the range. You've got two different sides when you promote them every Commander, every level. You can choose one or the other. Like two advances. You, when we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander. Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more ceremonious, but we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. A squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Word. Okay. That's my word. Go on. Go for it. Right, so she's in control. Difficult, easy. It's not, I've played it, it's not easy. But, let's give this a go. Okay, so, this is probably where I'm gonna leave it, as they fly off into the sky. Bye. Probably never to return. So that is XCOM 2. Now there's obviously, there's a lot more to it. There's, obviously you can research and buy equipment for the guys upgrade your ships and your bases you get to shoot down aliens you get to there's a whole range of this game there's a lot to it so for anyone who hasn't played it before this is a must it's one of the biggest games that PlayStation have given us since Bloodborne really and it's it's definitely a fun enjoyable game if you want it to be really really fun and not too difficult stick to the easiest setting and again i'm not just saying that but i've mentioned it several times they're not the best at defense most of the time i use overwatch they will miss most of the time the enemies shoot you behind cover, they will hit. So you will go through a lot of soldiers. And if you don't mind that, then that's fine. Go for it. But yeah, if that's the kind of thing that's just going to annoy you, then stick to the easier settings. You'll still get the same experience. Which is the main thing about this game. So yes, this is free for this month of June. So get it while it's free. If you want to see the other games that are available this month, then please check out my other video, because there is only one other game. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.